Hey guys, what's up? Um, as you can see, I'm wearing my uh, load bearing vest, the like survival vest right now. And I got some extra pouches attached to the back, but I'll go over that later. Uh, first, I'll, I'll go over the, the items I carry um, on the front and on the sides, um, why I carry these items, and uh, I also want to give you my opinion about this uh, South African assault vest and also about the clothes I'm wearing right now. So uh, let's, ju let's just get started. Um, first of all, on my legs, I have this um, leg base with three magazine pouches. Um, so I, um, I don't own a gun, so I could use that to put something like quick access toilet paper, um, yeah, you name it. So anything I'd, uh, I would need on the trail while I'm walking. Um, so um, as you can see, the vest fits pretty nicely on me and I'm not a big person at all. Um, this vest will fit anyone. It has adjustment straps everywhere uh, from the shoulders to the back. Um, to the front, you name it, it's, um, this will fit anyone. Um, and in a uh, bag out scenario, I'd probably wear this regular olive green t-shirt underneath my uh, field jacket. And uh, this field jacket is pretty neat. It has large Velcro pouches on the um, upper arm. And uh, also large Velcro pouches on the lower arm. Um, as well as adjustment straps for the wrists, um, which is pretty pretty neat. And on the left um, lower sleeve is also a uh, pen and pencil holder. There's actually three of them right here. Um, and on my left upper arm, I got this uh, this Sergeant Rack Insignia um, suit on. Uh, my grandmother did that for me, so uh, thank you for that, grandmother. I really appreciate it. So that looks pretty cool. I just thought I'd uh, um, let uh, be suit on there. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's go over the contents of the front pouches right now. Um, first of all, on this side, I have my compass pouch with my uh, German military uh, compass. Very neat. Um, you know, just for uh, navigation, of course. And uh, I've got this pouch um, attached upside down to my vest so that I can easily pull it out. So let's put that aside. Um, on this side, I've got my uh, wool hat strapped to the to the uh, shoulder strap. Um, this one's made by Tinsulate, you know, just when it gets cold, I can put it on my head. Um, and on my head, I'm wearing this uh, bush hat right now. Um, which is pretty good to block out the sun of my face and uh, also to keep me dry in wet conditions or rainy, rainy weather. So that's pretty neat. Um, and then in this um, upper mag pouch is my uh, just a regular, um, you know, ballpoint pen. Um, I got this from uh, the company. I ordered all this stuff from, well most of the stuff actually, um, such as the pants, the leg base, pouches, um, the vest itself, the uh, field jacket, the t-shirt, uh, well I ordered a lot of stuff recently, so I just got a pen for writing. And then in here I have um, a box with um, waterproof matches, uh, Vaseline soap cotton balls and fire starting cubes as well as a bag of signaling devices. Um, there is this small red flashing light in here. You get it on. So as you can see, that works fine for signaling. And there's also two signaling mirrors in here and two whistles, of which one is the Fox 40 whistle. So that's my little signaling uh, baggie. And then in here is a map compass for navigation. Um, I like to carry two compasses because two is one, one is none, so um, if one breaks I still have one left. Um, and I also have a pair of binoculars, you know I could easily scout an area in front of me with these binoculars. Um, so yeah, that's everything for this front mag pouch. And then there is also a mag pouch on this side, in which I keep another box of um, matches, but this time 
um, they are strike anywhere matches and there is also Vaseline soda cotton balls and fire starting cubes in here and then on the bottom of the pouch I got my tactical gloves they look pretty cool um, they are good for putting a uh, you know, canteen cup in and out of a fire um, you know, uh, wood processing uh, or just for handling a gun but I don't own one I don't own one, so I I probably not use that for carrying guns. But uh, you know, these tactical gloves could come in handy in any situation. Um, so that's it for this front mag pouch. And then there are these grenade pouches um, on the top as well. And in this one, I keep uh, a fishing kit, which contains uh, fishing hooks, uh, swivels, weights, split shot, fishing line. Um, lures, fake bait, uh, you name it, so um, bobbers as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, but uh, no pretty neat little fishing kit. Um, and then I have a uh, replacement filter for my uh, for my pure easy water filter, but that's in here, I'll, I'll go over that later. So, uh, yeah, replacement filter. Um, and the last item in this grenade pouch is a whole bunch of duct tape wrapped around a credit card. Um, this is probably um, like um, I'd say 20 feet, over 20 feet, 20, 30 feet, something like that. Um, you know, I just love to use duct tape. To me, it's it's probably one of the best inventions of the past century. So I always keep that with me. Um, could be used for repairing uh, my gear, my uh, my vest, and my clothes, of course. Um, also for closing wounds with a piece of cotton underneath there, uh, you name it. So it could be used for a lot of different purposes. And then in this grenade pouch right here, I have basically got a whole bunch of Asbit fuel tablets to go with my uh, Asbit folding stove. So in case I uh, can't start a fire um, or I don't want to start a fire, I could use this to uh, cook my food. Um, there is one. Uh, camouflage carabiner on each side could be used to suspend my hammock or you name it. Um, and then as you can see these dumb pouches have uh, these large uh, mag pouches on them as well. So that's pretty cool. And I'll go over uh, the contents of this pouch. Um, here is my uh, fire steel made by ECB International. Oh, it works fine. Uh, so I could, I'd probably use that to start a fire first instead of using my matches. I would only use them in an emergency. Um, but I, I think I have over uh, 100, maybe 200 matches. So uh, that should keep me going for a while. And then in here I have um, a uh, Sharpie, as you can see, red Sharpie. Um, a blue marker and a uh, pair of wire cutters. Um, I have a whole assortment of cordage. I have this uh, bright orange uh, cordage, um, nylon cordage and synthetic cordage. This is, this is just a, a thin cordage I keep for uh, shelter building, making fishing nets, uh, you name it. Um, and then the last item in here is my uh, crank up flashlight. So this doesn't take any batteries and it will keep me, well, it will uh, provide me a constant uh, beam of light. So that's pretty neat. And then in this mag pod, um, basically I have my uh, multi tool. As you might have already noticed, um, a lot of stuff that was in my uh, last bug out bag, um, which I shot a bit, shot a video about, um, is now in this vest because I I like this vest a lot more than any bug out bag because it fits uh, very easily, uh, very nicely around my body, and it's a lot easier to carry than the uh, heavy Austrian army pack I had before. So I prefer this one. I have a multi tool, another 
pair of pliers, um, screwdriver, knife blade, um, saw blades. So everything I need is on here. Um, and then next I have um, a BCB International Emergency Blanket with a whole bunch of Ziploc bags in there as well. And uh, also another emergency blanket which is a little larger than the usual uh, versions and this is olive green on one side so another great camouflage item if I don't want to be seen so that's uh, pretty neat that's everything for this pouch and I'll go over to uh, this magazine pouch right here um, here is my water filter uh, this is made by Pure Easy like the uh, replacement filter of course and uh, basically this comes in a digital woodland camo bag and uh, here is everything I need to filter my water there is a manual for the filter um, the hoses and maintenance uh, items such as uh, lubrication oil and sandpaper to keep the, uh, the pump uh, pumping and of course the uh, the filter clean. There is another filter in here, and uh, well, then there is the filter, the water filter itself. So uh, it works fine actually. I have uh, tested it out, and I didn't get sick from the water. So I guess um, I guess it works fine. Um, and then I keep two yellow light sticks in here as well. So these are yellow. You know, just if my uh, flashlights run out of batteries, it, I'd use those for some light. Um, they burn up to eight hours, so that should do it. Um, next, I have a whole bunch of utility cord. Um, this is um, about 50 feet of utility cord. It could be used for shelter building, uh, you know, making a hammock as well if I want to. But uh, there is a hammock in here, so I probably wouldn't have to do that. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of the, the zip ties, probably about 30 to 40 zip ties. Um, these are good for snaring, uh, shelter building, um, you name it. So it could be used for a lot of different purposes. Also as makeshift handcuffs, if you have to handcuff someone, that might uh, happen. So that's another neat item. And then there is this large utility uh, pouch on here. And on the top I have uh, a pair of working gloves, leather on one side, um, you know, regular cloth on the outside. Could be used for processing firewood, uh, putting things in and out of a fire as well. Um, and then I have my uh, necklace survival kit with the items I probably use most. There is a paracord lanyard on here, a whistle, a uh, glow ring so that I can find it if I drop it at night. Uh, a made in USA pair of ankle bands tweezers. Um, a folding saw and razor blade, which is pretty neat. Uh, there is this mini multi tool and the Exotech Nano Striker, which is my uh, primary. Um, method of fire starting. I have the uh, BCB fire steel in here as well. I have uh, pulled it out before so that are two fire steels already. And I have this one-handed small folding knife. You know, could come in handy. The uh, Spyderco bug knife. It is really small as you can see but uh, you know it is it works fine. It's razor sharp. Could be used for skinning animals, cutting paper, you name it. Um, and then there is this magnifying glass and a regular pocket knife. Um, and next I have extra batteries, three uh, AAA batteries for my flashlights um, to go in this my own headlamp. So uh, I have a headlamp as well. Um, just I could put that on my head or on my head. Um, you know, that will keep my hands free and that will be a lot easier to navigate at night. And then the last item in here is 
uh, two large drum liners could be used for shelter building or um, ground sheath. Uh, I could stuff this with leaves and use it as a mattress and ground insulation if I want to. So uh, it's pretty neat. And then, uh, well, let me take out the, uh, the vest itself right now. But I'll put it on the ground and I'll show you the contents of the bag. Um, you know, the canteens, the first aid uh, pouch, tar put shovel, um, and everything else that's in the back of my, uh, of my load bearing vest. So uh, stay tuned and I'll be right back. So uh, as you can see I've got the, uh, the vest spread out on the ground. Um, but first before I go over the items that are on the back. Um, this is my US Marine Corps um, pistol belt. Which I also ordered online from uh, ASMC. Um, so my leg base is attached to it with the three magazine pouches. And these uh, adjustable straps to go around your leg and uh, if I want to I could put uh, something like a holster or uh, or some more pouches on the belt but I have enough space in the vest itself so I don't have to carry extra pouches um, and then basically on the bottom of my pack is a tarp with another emergency blanket in there and the shovel strapped to it um, and then on here, uh, strapped to the pack, I have my Tasmanian Tiger um, TT Tag Pouch 5, which is an awesome pouch, um, and I like to use it for uh, for my first aid pouch. I got this uh, first aid patch on there. Um, it has Molly webbing on the back, um, so it's Molly compatible. Um, and this is a very heavy duty um, pouch. And another very cool and great feature about this is that it has an integrated rain cover. So I could just put it over there and uh, it will be waterproof so that is very neat. Um, and then the, well, the rain cover goes into the back of the pouch. And these zippers are all waterproof, which is very cool, um, very neat. And then on the front, I have a whole assortment of band-aids and gauze. Um, and here I have um, two pair of two pairs of surgical surgical gloves. And then in the main compartment of the pouch. some surgical tape, um, a triangle or a cloth for, for when you break your arm. I could also use this as a bandana if I want to or as a scarf. Um, there's two of these uh, fixative bandages, um, two of these compresses, um, more fixative bandages, um, different sizes. Um, and then I've got these uh, blood absorbing um, bandages so when I'm uh, heavily wounded I could use that to stop the bleeding there's another one of them um, and here's a bunch of um, some more gauze and um, another blood absorbing patch um, and I have two syringes and two needles. You never know when you will need them. And uh, I also have this camouflage bag with some, you know, my uh, stainless steel um, first aid tools such as tweezers, scissors, um, you name it. So everything is in here. As you can see, the pouch is well, it's fairly large. Um, it has this mesh compartment right here and it has these uh, organization straps um, on the inside as well um, um, and also a D-ring so very cool pouch I highly recommend buying one like these as a first aid pouch because they are just awesome um, and then I've got my uh, puncher liner attached to the to the back let me take it 
take it out for a second, off for a second. I also attach these with um, these camouflage carabiners such as are on the front so uh, got that off and here's my poncho liner um, you know just use that um, in cold nights um, but with this field jacket I'm probably warm enough um, especially when I'm carrying my winter jacket with me as well um, so as you can see there are these little straps on the back and this is a uh, backpack um, basically they, there are two compartments one larger one and one smaller one and in the middle here is a uh, well something like um, that you see on a lot of mag pouches um, there is something like um, you know a piece of cloth in there with this uh, pulley cord so that you could close it so that you got two separated compartments or you could open it up so that you have one large compartment which could be used to uh, to put a water bladder in there but I got my two canteens on here and I don't want to carry a water bladder because um, if it gets punctured or something I, um, I won't be able to use it anymore so I prefer to use canteens um, and on this top pouch is uh, this pulley strap um, with this hole and I can just pull anything I like out there and that's also um, for the hose um, if you want to carry a hydration bladder and then there is these zippers I'll open up this pouch and basically what I got on the top is a roll of toilet paper um, some extra cotton balls for tinder or for uh, wound care um, two more garbage bags but these are smaller than the one that's in this large utility pouch I got my uh, my sitting pad just to keep me off the ground and uh, my mesh hammock with cordage to suspend it to a tree so that will keep me from the wet ground or the cold ground and that's everything for the for this compartment. And then there is a, there is a separate pair of zippers on here. Um, there is some more toilet paper in there. Um, a whole bunch of extra cordage. Get it out. Um, that's to go with my tarp. There's a lot of extra cordage. There's some more. I don't like to carry a lot of cordage because it is such a, such a uh, multifunctional item. Uh, and then here is my hygiene kit. Um, there's anything in here from a sponge, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, soap, shampoo, a comb, um, you know, some cotton as well, um, Q-tips, you name it. Everything is in there that I need for hygiene. And uh, as you can see, this is the separation of the two compartments and I could close it with this strap and I have two different compartments or I could open it up and then I have one large compartment so that's very neat about this pack and this pack is actually so big that I can fit anything I like in here basically um, there is everything in here that was also on in my bag out bag except for the extra clothing but I uh I've got new um, and good clothing so I don't so I don't need extra uh, clothing with me um, but yeah this is this is this really is a huge um, vest with a lot of large pouches such as these dumb pouches and the back pockets um, so I highly recommend buying a South African assault vest like this one um, I really like it and as you can see these are not the real ones but this is a replica made by Miltech because the real, more, the real ones are pretty hard to get and they only come in this uh, sand light color but this came in olive green and a lot of different um, camouflage patterns but I just like to carry um, olive green items because to me that's the best all-around camo um, 
but I might order uh, some uh, German military flag torn clothing uh, because that is good for in autumn uh, and also uh, something like ACU digital for winter and um, woodland camo for the spring but I could use this camo for the spring as well um, so I got these two canteen pouches attached to the adjustment straps on the back and uh, it has this insulated cover one quart canteen water bottle and of course a uh, canteen cup the handle is pretty small but the cup itself uh, you know, should do the job for cooking um, I usually boil soup of rice or rice in here so I don't really need a big uh, cooking kit so that goes in there and then in here I have a very large Ziploc bag and I think 12 water purification tablets Um, and then in here is also a canteen and a canteen cup, so I got two canteen cups. Um, there's also some, there's two patches of steel wool for cleaning out my, uh, my canteen cups. So that's in here. Um, and now I'll go over uh, the contents in these large dump pouches. So these pouches have these buckles, they open very well. and. Uh, no, they are adjustable uh, like any other straps uh, on this assault vest. There's also this uh, hole in here to put, uh, you know, I could pull items out of it through this hole if I have, if I want to. But uh, in here I have got two more uh, uh, garbage bags, excuse me. Um, another emergency blanket. I like to carry a lot of garbage bags and emergency blankets because that way I could make any shelter I like. Um, and here is basically my hardware kit slash hunting kit. There's my pocket hunting and fishing kit on which I have a review so you could watch that if you like. Um, three uh, wire saws. I don't have a big saw except for the one on my uh, multi-tools so I guess that's the, these, I, I will uh, have to use these but you know they weigh nothing they take up no space so I just thought I'd throw them in there um, this is a whole bag of accessory items there is more duct tape in here cordage, tin foil, fishing line another fishing kit a whole bunch of safety pins um, electrical tape, razor blades, snare wire sewing kit more duct tape, more snare wire um, and more water purification tablets so anything uh, I need is in there and I got an extra sewing kit slash repair kit there is some uh, inner tire of a bicycle in here more safety pins, duct tape, uh, needles, thread, buttons uh, more fishing line for heavy duty repairs or fishing um, you know sandpaper you name it anything I need is in here Um, then I have six of these plastic tent pegs. They weigh nothing, they take up almost no space. So I thought I'd throw them in there to go with my tarp. Um, I got a uh, rain poncho. Very neat. So I could easily pull that out and uh, put it over my body so that I will stay dry or I could, or I could use it for an emergency shelter if something happens to my uh, tarp. And then I got uh, this Nalgene half liter Nalgene bottle, um, 14 ounce. Um, this is filled um, off uh, with rice. I should add more to it, but that's all I had. Uh, I should go to the store and buy some more. And then in here is my uh, ultimate survival tool. You know, it has a hatchet, hammer, uh, two more saw blades, a knife blade, screwdrivers, um, you know anything I need so that's my uh, that's the I think the fifth knife I actually carry and then uh, there is this notepad and pencil and that's it for this huge dump pouch so as you can see there fits a lot of stuff in here 
Um, and then in this one, well, let me move to the other side. Um, and this one is some uh, uh, blaze orange uh, paracord. Um, I would probably not use this uh, to build shelters with because I have plenty of cords for that purpose. But I would use it, um, you know, I could tie small pieces on a tree to uh, know where I have been and uh, how to get back to camp uh, or something like that. I got a whole bunch of uh, nylon cordage, extra cordage. I probably carry too much cordage, but you know, it fits in here, so, you know, why not carrying it? Um, there's another fire kit with another fire steel, so that makes my uh, third fire steel. Um, there's stormproof matches in here, waterproof matches, tampons, uh, green heat fuel gel, um, a candle, um, you know, fire starting cubes, um, cotton, Vaseline soaked cotton balls, you name it. Um, and here is some more small zip ties. I like to carry a lot of zip ties, so. There is some more in there, um, some larger zip ties. Um, my eating utensil, which is a spork, I could take these apart, have a spoon and a fork, or a fork and a knife, um, so that's cool. There's a knife on there as well, and that's the knife I'd probably use for uh, cooking. Um, and here is my, um, basically my, access my accessory food pack. There is hot chocolate in here, um, trekking uh, crackers, which make a great breakfast. Um, there's also sugar in here, tea, candy, uh, soup flavoring, um, some um, energy, dextro energy. Um, so there are these energy tablets. Um, more sugar, a lot of bouillon cubes, you know, you name it. Uh, pepper, salt. Uh, there's also straws in here, um, a 35 liter garbage bag. You know, I, w I uh, probably wouldn't like to um, throw everything, uh, you know, just on the ground, my my garbage. So that's why I have this garbage bag and uh, some more tin foil. And then my uh, SBIT folding stove. So it folds open. Got the stove right here. Could make it wider, and there's more SBIT fuel tablets in there. So I would use that if I don't. Uh, well, if I can't start a fire, or when I don't want to start a fire. Um, so I guess I have covered all the items that are in here, and uh, I just want to mention that this is a awesome tactical vest. I really love this as a load bearing vest. Um, could be used for airsoft as well because of these used dump pouches. You could put your empty mags in there. Um, there is six other mag pouches uh, on here. Uh, one large utility pouch on that side. Two grenade pouches so you could fit anything you like in here. And this vest will fit anyone. And I am not a big person at all. And it fits me perfectly. So uh, that's pretty cool. And also uh, on the backpack part of the vest there are these um, straps you could, uh, you could attach some extra stuff to it and there is adjustment straps really everywhere on this uh, on this vest and it also has padding everywhere and that makes it very comfortable to wear I really love this pack um, and I wouldn't trade it for uh, any other vest so yes I'm very happy with it and this was only uh, about 30 euros which I would say is about forty dollars and that's actually you know this is the best vest you could get for that price um, but yeah I love the vest uh, you know it's pretty heavy duty material um, so yeah I highly recommend buying one of these and this is a lot easier than a bug out bag setup well in my eyes at least um, but everyone has his, has his uh, own opinion opinion about that but yeah I really appreciate your watching I hope uh, I give you some ideas um, and hope uh, you enjoyed the video so thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe I really appreciate that and I'll see you in the next video